Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, Greater St. Paul. I pray you had good sleep <laughs> and restful slumber. I overslept this morning, God. Hallelujah. Um, but here I am, praise the Lord, still in the land of the living. And so God is worthy and greatly to be praised. I am selected this morning to read in your hearing the uh, uh, chapter 46 from Psalm. Psalm 46 in its entirety. It's 11 verses. Amen. Psalm 46, and thus says the word of God. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, sea lie. This is a river whose Stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is the midst of her. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Hallelujah. Praise God for his holy word this morning. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Oh Lord our God. God of love and light. God of and joy. God of grace and mercy. Hallelujah. God, we rise this morning declaring that you are our God and that we are your people. You are our present help, our refuge. You are the strong power against every enemy. You are our God and we are your people. We love you this morning, God. We rise this morning seeking your faith because we need you today, God. <clears throat> we need you, Lord God. We rise this morning as sinners, thankful and grateful to be saved by your amazing grace. Grateful that your word says if we confess our sins, uh, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all our unrighteousness. And so we rise to say we are heartily sorry. For all the ways that we might have grieved you, God. All the ways that we've offended you, God. Whether in thought, word, or deed, we are indeed sorry. And I rise this morning, Lord God, lifting up in prayer the great people of greater St. Paul and friends. I lift them up to you this morning, Lord God, to plead and petition on their behalf. I happily serve you, oh God. I happily love you, most high. I happily surrender, hallelujah, to you, God. And I serve you by loving and leading these, thy people. I rise this morning, God, pleading the very blood of Jesus over each and every one under the sound of my voice this morning. I rise to declare, hallelujah, in the name and the power and the authority of Jesus the Christ, my personal Lord and my personal Savior, hallelujah, I rise to declare that these our people receive every good thing into their lives right now, multiplied and increased. I bind off any increase, uh, uh, any multiplication of every and all bad thing the enemy has even just conceived 
seed to come against them. Uh, I declare and decree that only good and righteous things uh, will increase in their lives and in everything that concerns them in the name of Jesus. Uh, and right now, Lord God, I speak to their relationship with you, Father. Uh, hallelujah. I command their relationship with the triune God to multiply and to increase and to rise and to deepen. Hallelujah. God the Father, Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost, our Comforter, hallelujah, our Mediator, hallelujah. I declare and decree greater, <coughs> greater hunger and thirst uh, after your righteousness, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that their desire will grow in you, O oh God, that it will multiply and increase, uh, that they'll become hotter and hotter on fire for you, God, uh, uh, than they've ever been before. In the name of Jesus, uh, I declare and decree that they will seek first uh, the kingdom of God and your righteousness and that every good thing, every needed material thing, every desired godly thing will be added uh, unto them. Hallelujah, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus the Christ, uh, I speak over these uh, people that they are increasing today uh, in revelation knowledge direct from you, O oh God. Uh, I declare and decree right now in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, that they are increasing in supernatural encounters with the triune God. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that their spirit of discernment, their ability to sense and to treasure the very presence of the Lord is increasing right now and abounding right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. I declare and decree that the ears, uh, uh, the ears of these thy people uh, to hear your your voice, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, that these people's ears will be open, their eyes will be open, their spiritual ears and eyes, and will be sharper today uh, than they've ever been before. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that their their eyes to see you will widen all the more, God. Hallelujah. And that that widening will multiply and increase like never, ever before. Hallelujah, God. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that they'll have an abundance of revelation from you, God. That they'll 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 not be puffed up by it though, because they humble themselves ah, under the mighty hand of God on the regular. Hallelujah. They know who they are. Hallelujah. And they know who you are. So they approach your presence this day and every day in humility. Ah, hallelujah. I pray that they will grow in their patience, knowing that in due time, you will exalt them. Hallelujah, God. That they will be content to wait on you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they will be of good courage. I declare and decree right now, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, an abundance and increase in the quality of the time that they spend before you, God, before your faith, communing with you, God. I declare and decree an abundance and an increase in the quantity, hallelujah, of the time they take, they make, that they prepare, that they book, hallelujah, to be before you, God, to be at your feet, hallelujah, God to commune with you, to listen huh, for your still quiet voice, hallelujah, God, in this time of busyness, in this time where we're ripping and running, hallelujah, God, that they will make the time huh, to be still and know that you are God, huh. hallelujah, Lord God, I rise this morning declaring these are people to be a blessed people unto you, hallelujah, and I pray that you'll greatly bless their hearts, their bodies, souls, and minds, and spirits uh, to align up uh, to the very word of God, uh, and that they will be obedient in all and everything uh, that the word commands, hallelujah, God, uh, for your word is powerful, but it is living, hallelujah, it is breathing, it is moving, hallelujah, God, we praise you today for your word, uh, in the name and authority of Jesus, God, I speak to their very souls this morning, hallelujah, that their souls be filled to overflowing with every gift and grace of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, hallelujah. I bless them now with, 
with the supernatural ability to remember everything they read in, in your word, God, in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that the very word of God shall be carved into their hearts and imprinted in their minds, in their bodies and souls. Hallelujah, that these our people uh, will remember it when they read it. Uh, not only will they remember it, but they will devour your word. Uh, hallelujah, that, that they all in each will consume your very word. Hallelujah, knowing that the word of God will never change, uh, but will forever change their hearts every time they encounter that word. Hallelujah, God. Uh, Lord God, I declare and decree this morning a tremendous increase uh, in their ability to surrender to you right now, God, to be vulnerable enough to be used by you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, recognizing that they are in this world. They are operating in this world, but they are not of this world. Hallelujah, God, that you reign supreme. Hallelujah. You are their sovereign God, that you are first and priority in their lives, that they will hear the voice of the Lord behind them saying to them, whispering in their ears to walk this way and, and, and walk in it, hallelujah, in your holy word, in your will, hallelujah, God, that they'll be obedient to your voice, God, that they'll never turn to the right or to the left, but, but, but that they'll follow the ways of the Lord and be obedient to every one of your commands, God, as their human conditions allow, hallelujah, God, but their desire will be to do so. Hallelujah, God. I declare and decree, Lord God, that on today, other people will look upon these our people and call them blessed. Huh? That today they'll be recognized as your chosen people, huh? your peculiar people, huh? uh, people loved by an all-powerful God, huh? an all-knowing God, a sovereign God, an omnipresent God, huh? the one and only true living God, the most high. Hallelujah, God. Huh? Walk with these thy people today, oh God. Huh? Lead and guide them through this barren land. Huh? Hallelujah, in this land of the wicked. Hallelujah, God. I pray that today their spirits will be so incredibly sensitive to your presence that they feel as if they, they have a day-long hug from you, God, from the inside out. I declare and decree in the name, power, and authority of Jesus the Christ that on today these our people will not know lack. They will not know hurt or harm. They will not know isolation or loneliness. Uh, they will not know doubt. They will not know defeat. Uh, but that on today, Lord God, I declare and decree that every single thing attached to them will win. Uh, that they will know victory today. Uh, that they will know healing today. Uh, that they will know breakthrough today. Uh, that they will meet up with favor upon favor uh, and receive blessings overflowing to overflowing on today, God. Hallelujah, God. I pray that they are just so full of blessed assurance today, God, that nothing persuade, nothing distracts them, nothing detracts them from you being the goal on today, that everything they do will be to your glory, God, and that you will continue to bless them to overflowing, to overflowing. This is my prayer. I pray only and exclusively in the mighty name of Jesus. And every glad heart says, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I do indeed praise God for each and every one of you. You guys inspire me. Hallelujah, God. Ah, and I love you so. Um, tonight is, what is it, Thursday? So we have, you know, the, our choirs are serving in the funeral, the Henson funeral on Saturday tonight for the, uh, to rehearse for the funeral. Be at the church at 7 p.m. And then the Young Adult Choir, your rehearsal is 8 p.m. tonight. Amen? All right. I pray you have a blessed, impactful, productive day. I love you all because I love you each. Bye.